Hello, Dr. J here. Today we're going to talk about the AC waveform and for this presentation we'll take a look at the sine wave function describing the vertical which is the amplitude characteristics as well as the horizontal characteristics or the time. For sine wave with amplitude vertical characteristics here's a typical sine wave along the horizontal axis it's labeled as time and along we have the zero point shown here and we have the vertical axis either a voltage or a current. We see here a maximum on the positive side of this curve we call that the positive maximum and here we have the corresponding negative maximum for voltage, we call this the peak voltage. If either the positive or the negative maximum is greater of the two, and then we have a peak current that is similar to what we describe here. We labeled the peak voltage as VP, defined from the zero axis all the way to the peak amplitude. Likewise, we can define the on the negative side the peak amplitude for this case. And for a sine wave, these in this example, these two are equal. Going from the negative maximum to the positive maximum, we call that the peak to peak voltage. Another important vertical or amplitude characteristics of a sine wave is the root mean squared. We define the root mean squared as a constant DC voltage producing the same amount of heat as a sine wave. And the VRMS is defined as 0 0.707 times the peak voltage. It's also known as the effective voltage. Again, it's a constant DC voltage. We have a similar definition for the current. I RMS is equal to I effective equals to 0 0.707 IP. This is supposed to be a subscript here. And here for the vertical voltage case, we have the 0 0.707 VP. Again, this is a constant DC voltage. Again, this produces the same of heat as does this sine wave. Okay, so here's the DC part and here's the alternating current and it's doing the same amount of work as this constant DC voltage. We can also get from this expression express it in terms of VP but just by dividing by 0 0.707 when you do that we get 1.414 VRMS to get the peak voltage as well as the current. 